Hello, and welcome to Found Earth, Volume 2, page 50. Um, appreciate you clicking on this and listening to me talk for a bit. This page has the robots. They're on their journey. They're on to see what happens next in their life. And it's a good, quiet, in-between moment. Executive producer Amanda Wilkins, uh, appreciate your contribution and support. I hope you enjoy it. So this has a good, it's an in-between time for the robots. It's in between what they were doing before and what they're going to do next, which they're not certain what is coming next. And... That is a very important time. You're going to come across several times like that. Um, and it's very important that you're not running to the next. It's very important, I think, that you assess what's coming, that you scout ahead, which these robots aren't doing. They just take things as they come and life happens to them. Which is okay, because all they're doing is recording and studying, but living is, is a different thing altogether. Checking things out ahead of time is what you want to do if you want to be proactive in, in what's going on in your life. give you this advice because in retrospect a lot of my life has just been taking things as they come it's been happening to me and not me to it and so doing this book is probably one of the first instances of my life aside from getting married in which I was proactive in what I was doing. I just kind of fell into the 9-to-5 job that I have. I just kind of fell into the college that I had because somebody else wanted me to go to it. I moved to Kent State because that's where somebody was at the time, and I wanted to just go there with them. It, it's all happenstance and it happened to me and so I want to give the advice that you should be way more proactive than me in your life you don't have to have a specific laid out plan per se a generalized plan to start would be good but to go to such lengths as to not plan, I don't think you'll live your full life that way. These robots, they're, they're starting to formulate a plan. They're deciding to go to back to their base. And because they're not scouting ahead and checking things out, life is still happening to them. The, the, Velociraptors, the group thinking Velociraptors, uh, jump out and change everything just by their nature of being there. And they have no recourse but to go with the flow. They don't have any preparation to stand up to what's coming. So I think that planning ahead, scouting ahead, being proactive in your choices. That's my advice to you. And I realize that you can't always do that in life, but do it as often as you can. Do it as, as, as a matter of course from now on. If you can do it, do it. Artistically, this page 
uh, I believe is the first instance of me using a brush pen. Uh, here you see the pencil work is all done, and so now I start on the brush, I start on pens. And what you see me using right now, I believe, is the first brush pen that I've used in this project. And I have to tell you that these brush pens are amazing, and I highly recommend them. They're for calligraphy. You can use them for calligraphy. Um, artists have found that if you use them, you can vary the line while you're drawing, depending on how hard you press. Um, and they're all of different qualities. Um, some of them dry better than others. Some of them make better marks. Some of them make deeper marks. Some of them are better for finer works. Uh, there's a wide variety. You can look them up. Jetpens.com. Uh, you'll find a wide variety on there. Uh, the packages come with all kinds of uh, Vietnamese writing on them. So I don't understand a word. Uh, there's apparently a whole lot of different levels of size and quality. But just starting off, I'm using quite possibly the lowest quality ink pen, uh, brush pen that I, that I can find. It came in a, in a package with other pens, and so I was testing things out and running with them. And I really like them. And the only flaw that I could find was that I can't get really highly detailed work out of the cheaper ones, and so I had to spring for the, the newer ones, the, the better ones, and my goodness, the quality is amazing. And so I'm in love, and I don't ever want to go back to using a standard Micron. At the bottom of the page here, you'll see credits for the music check these people out. Uh, I tend to change what music I use with every volume. So volume three here in about 14 pages is going to have new music and new credits and a new header um, just to change things up and keep things fresh for a while. Uh, we're approaching the eight minute mark. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and for listening to me ramble and give advice. When I think about these things, it's advice to my kids and to my grandkids and um, to my great-great-grandkids great if they're still around, you know, YouTube is still around or this video is still around when they're, when, if they come. Uh, but I want to thank you for listening. Uh, if you're on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Alan Dunlap. I want to thank you for your support. Um, I really appreciate it. And just gratitude. If you're on youtube.com slash dream of art, the number one. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. Uh, just kind of farting around. And... Instagram is where I post an awful lot of stuff as well. So, thank you very much. Amanda and Joe, appreciate your support. Uh, I try to make really good use of it and, and buy art supplies to help improve the work and to keep it going. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, just enjoy the rest of the video and the music. Thank you.